Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Feel the Snow. In the last episode, our snow lady began her preparations for her inevitable rematch against the Queen of Ice. She leveled up, she learned some brand new magic abilities, and now we are very, very close to getting our very final spell, which I believe should be the Ice Barrier spell. Let's see, the Ice Barrier. I have been hard at work leveling up our Snow Lady in between episodes, so we have all five of our skill points right in our Ice Spike spell, which means the next time we level up, we should be able to unlock this one. So this, I think, is going to help us out quite a bit when we go back to the Queen of Ice, because it should make it so we should be able to at least defend ourselves against all of those tiny little Ice Minions. I think the Ice Spikes will do a pretty good job of getting rid of them too, because it seems like it just helps us out in general when we're trying to fight a whole swarm of enemies. And we have had a lot of enemies to fight way, way down here where we typically go to um, find all of those mechanical creatures. We were actually trying to um, grab up some of these little fiery crystals last time. We didn't manage to get any of them though. I did go back there to gather up some more recipes and we do have a ton of those tantalum recipes now. We have the tantalum sword, the shield, the armor, and the bow, but we can't actually make them yet because we need those tantalum ingots. So we just need the ore and supposedly we can make it with the furnace. So I would assume that we should be able to gather up these different items and maybe take them along with us to our battle. We might as well head down down there and see because we do need to get that one last level for that very final spell. Of course, I also made sure to get rid of a whole bunch of those dark zones for the extra mana points. We have 10 points of mana up on the side of the screen now, so that should make it much easier for our snow lady to keep casting her magic. It does take quite a bit. It drains our mana quite a bit when we use all of these different spells. And speaking of which, I forgot that mana potions were even a thing in this game. So we now have nine mana potions sitting in our inventory to use up as we uh, go about our day casting all of our spells and our magic. We might as well put some of that uh, mucus in our lamp too because it would be nice to actually be able to see where we're going while we're stumbling our way toward that biome. The only problem with that biome is that it takes so very long to run to. I'm hoping that there's going to be some place there with um, one of those teleportation pads just like Todolf's house because that would be so helpful if we could just go there instead and just zip all all the way down there. I would imagine that at some point, maybe as we get further in the story, there will be something for us to actually accomplish in that biome. Because we did have to go to the barren landscape to, I believe, rescue Joe's cart. Is that what we did for him? His cart of like sweets or something? And now we're in the ice caves trying to defeat Ninus. So maybe we're a little bit ahead of ourselves going out there trying to defeat all of these mechanical crabs and whatnot. But it is giving us a ton of experience points. So we might as well keep up with it. Um, it's a lot easier to level up when we use those hooded nightmares as opposed to all of these tiny little guys nipping at our heels. They don't really give us too much and of course they don't have any new recipes to give us either so it seems like it would just be a little bit more beneficial for us to keep using those different nightmares instead. The hooded um, nightmares also give us those dense textures in the new biome and that was what we needed to create the archmage hat I believe. We just received that recipe as well and that would give us a little bit of a boost in our magical abilities. Now I'm thinking that we probably want to keep our warm hat on because I do remember somebody telling us and I think it was actually Joe that we would need um, to keep our snow lady warm while we're in the ice caves fighting Ninus. So I would just assume that there's probably a good reason for us to keep the warm hat on her instead. Though I wonder if that means that maybe we could get affected by the ice magic too. Like if we use the ice magic on the enemies then that typically slows them down. But we've all always had our warm hat on our snow lady so we've never really seen the effects that it has on her. I'm not sure. We'll have to try that out at some point though. Once we're done with Ninus, once we're completely done with her and she's gone from the world and we don't have to worry about her ice magic anymore, we'll experiment a little bit and see if there's any difference if we go into the ice caves without the warm hat. For now though, let's try to be sneaky about this as we um, gather up some of that tantalum ore. If we sneak around the outskirts of this um, little biome, then we might be able to get to the crystals without being noticed by those um, crabs in particular. The crabs 
are very, very hard to get rid of. So if we could maybe get to those first, we might be in a better situation because so far, every single time we've gone to those fiery crystals, there is always some sort of swarm, some swarm of monsters that are waiting to uh, chase us away. So if we can get there before they spawn, then maybe we could sneak a couple crystals out and then um, go on our merry way trying to gather up the rest of our experience points. Let's see, let's stay on the very, very outskirts and we'll make sure that we don't um, gather the attention of any of those crabs. Or no, of course, as soon as I say that, we find a crab. Oh, great. And this is one of the ones that actually shoots lasers at us too, so it's a little bit trickier. Because of course, in the time that it takes you to uh, charge up your magic, this one is already shooting at you just like that. And those lasers do stun you a little bit from casting your magic. Now I'm a little bit worried about I'm um, fighting Ninus with all of the magic too, because if her attacks also stop us from casting, then we might have a little bit more trouble than um, we bargained for. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy though. There we go. And no new recipes. So I'm thinking that we are getting very, very close to the end of um, the potential recipes that we can make from this biome. But we have a lot of things to make as it is. We have a lot of different tantalum items. So I am really looking forward to upgrading our tools yet again. Now we must be pretty close by now. We're almost to those crystals. I think I'm going to go to um, these because they are right by the edge of the biome. So hopefully there won't be too many monsters standing right there in the middle of all of those crystals. I would imagine that this is probably just where they spawn. Like surely they want to protect this area. We just have a slime up there though and that guy's not too bad. So let's see if we can very quickly sneak one of these crystals. Let's see, is this going to work? It doesn't actually seem like we're picking it up. Do we need something else to gather up these um, crystals, I wonder? We haven't received any recipes for different pickaxes, so I'm not sure if like maybe we're just missing a certain tool, but it definitely doesn't seem like we can pick it up with our pickaxe. Unless this is like Minecraft Subsidian or something and we need to just mine it for a very, very long time, but that seems unlikely. That's very strange. I wonder if we actually have to defeat the um, ice queen then. I wonder if she would give us something special if we did that. I'm not sure. Like when we defeated the great slime, we actually um, met Joe. He returned to the settlement and he opened his little sweet shop, which gave us access to some items that we didn't have yet. So maybe if we defeat Nina, something similar will happen and we'll get um, another friend in the town to buy stuff from. Before we attempt that though, we definitely need to get that very last level. So we'll be able to, oh my goodness, cast on that ice barrier spell. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy because they do give us quite a bit of experience points and as long as we use our magic properly then he shouldn't even be able to catch up to me we should be able to just completely obliterate him with all of our ice and magic there we go not too hard at all they're getting much easier for our snow lady to take care of all by herself it does take a lot of mana to do that though that took a lot of mana off of her so we'll let her eat one of her little snail meals and then once her mana regenerates we'll go ahead and try to beat this other reaper on the um, other side of the screen i knew i saw one over here. Where did you go, little guy? Where did you go? You were here somewhere. That's very strange. It seems to have kind of like despawned. I guess we'll pick up some of these items over here then while we try to find somebody else. The only ones I do not like fighting are those crabs, of course, the ones that shoot the lasers. If we can find maybe the ones with the big teeth, yeah, like this guy, then maybe we can get him instead because I don't think this one shoots the lasers at us. I think we'll be um, okay as long as we keep our distance. He can bite us pretty darn hard though, so that's why we want to make sure we stay away. And no new recipe again, so I wonder if we do actually have all of the things that we can gather up here. And um, we might as well go ahead and get rid of these little slimes too. They are much more resilient, oh my goodness, than the slimes that we're used to. And they drop those um, oily liquids too. I actually wanted to see if maybe we could use those in our lanterns. We usually use the mucus from the regular slimes, so theoretically that should work, right? You would think that some oily liquid would be good um, fuel for a lantern too. Let's see, let's go ahead oh my goodness and pick this one up as long as I'm not going to get that guy's attention yeah there we go we managed to sneak that one away and let's see if this works yeah we can use it for fuel excellent I don't know if that was actually worth more though it doesn't seem like it It seems like it's the same amount as um, the mucus is at least for the fuel and the lamp so we might actually be better off just getting rid of the regular um, slimes because those are much easier to get rid of anyway so maybe not the most efficient use of the oily liquids we'll have to 
to see if we can make anything else out of them maybe. There could be some uh, special recipe that we haven't received yet that we can use those for. But for now, we are so close to leveling up. Oh my gosh, just like one more and then we'll be done. In fact, if we go ahead and hit this guy down here, let's get his attention, run away a little bit, and then hit him with our ice spikes. There we go. Sometimes we can do some really good on um, critical hits too, as long as I am facing the right direction. It doesn't help if you're facing the wrong way, Jess. There we go. Just a couple more hits here. Our ice spikes. Yeah, that should be it. All right, now we should be able to get our very last spell. So the ice barrier is going to surround us in a barrier made of ice shards that inflict damage upon contact with the enemy. And I just feel like that is probably going to help us get rid of all of those tiny little ice minions that um, the Queen of Ice likes to spawn so much. So let's see, if we um, open up our portal here so I can hopefully rearrange our inventory a little bit, then it might be easier for us to um, use this on some of the enemies because I definitely want to test it out before we go to the ice caves. So we have our mana potions at the ready too and this is actually a perfect time because it just turned to night so we should be able to find some of those nightmares as well. Um, first I'm just going to put away some of our extra materials because we certainly don't need to carry all of these dense textures and the screw nuts and the gears. We could definitely make better use of those inside our chest so we can use them later in all of those different recipes. But I think we are just about ready. We do have some extra bottles here too because I was crafting so many potions before so we might as well place those in our chest as well, right next to all of our snow piles and whatnot. And then um, we'll go ahead and see what this little ice barrier is going to do. Hopefully it's really going to help us because we have spent a very long time getting these different spells. Let's go ahead and uh, try to find some enemies to gather the attention of before we use it. Let's see, we have um, this guy right up here. So let's go ahead and use our ice barrier. Yeah, all of these little shards should actually hurt them. Look at that. That is actually really, really helpful. So when all of of those little um, ice creatures are, oh my gosh, pinging off of me. Whoa, okay. <laughs> That was a little bit rude. I got a little bit lax there on our defense apparently because I thought we were safe with our barrier, but we're not gonna let that happen again. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. That cooldown is actually quite high too, so we'll have to keep that in mind. This is certainly not the type of spell that we can spam right in the middle of battle, especially because it takes so much mana to use. I believe it was four points, but yeah, let's go ahead and let our snow lady heal up after that. It did take quite a bit of health off of um, the crab though. It looked like about 20 points per um, hit. So maybe if we level this up even more, then that would be more beneficial for us to use later on. Um, we should probably also level up our mana regeneration too. Like we haven't put any points into that and I'm sure that would help us out quite a bit. But honestly, I am quite interested to see if any of this would work against Ninus. We might as well see if we can at least do um, a dent on her now, a dent on her massive, massive health. Now that we have all of these different things at our disposal, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to um, use the tantalum items that we received the recipes to because I'm still not quite sure how we're supposed to gather up that ore, but we might as well see if we're headed in the right direction to actually defeat the queen. So let's use um, Todolf's little warp over here to go right over to his house and then we can follow the marker. Oh, actually that reminds me, I did find another one of those treasure maps and it's like right outside the ice caverns. So why don't we make a very quick detour? I know we were just going on our way to the Ice Queen, but we'll just make a very, very quick detour down to um, the treasure map just to see what's down there because it could be something that might help us out. We might get some more um, potions that we could use or maybe a very special item. Last time we um, dug up some of the things at the treasure map areas, we received those blue mana rings, I want to say. We are still wearing one. The other slot got um, taken up with our lamp, but we have a blue ring that regenerates our mana a little bit faster. So hopefully, Hopefully we'll find something even better over here if we can just zip over to wherever this treasure map is. Oh no, but I forgot about the wolves. Oh geez, great. Let's see if we can make him guard because um, then we should be able to go around the other side and hit him. Oh geez, but he is really hitting me. Why don't we try to use our magic instead? Whoa, one hit, one hit and he's done with our ice spikes. Okay, so I guess um, our snow lady's attempts to become the most powerful wizard in all the land is slowly 
slowly becoming a reality. Though honestly, it doesn't seem like she has much competition at this point, aside from Ninus herself. And once we get rid of her, then it's just us. It's just us with all of our magic abilities. Let's see if um, maybe this will heal us though, because we do need a little bit of extra health. Oh, it's our little battle pet, our battle firefly pet. I forgot about you even better. Even better than health is our battle firefly pet. And there's another one of those wolves, but you don't scare me anymore. Now that I know I can get rid of you in just one hit with our ice spikes, so much easier than trying to travel around the other side of him when he finally guards. So much easier. But let's see, we must be really close. Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. I knew it wasn't too far away from the ice cave. So let's see if we can figure out which one of these snow mounds. Um, it must be this one right here. It seems like it's really, really close. So let's see. Oh, it's a different type of ring. Okay, what's this? A red ring. Health regeneration. Okay, I mean, that might actually be pretty good because then we wouldn't need to use all of those health potions. Let's see, how does that work? Not bad. I mean, it's very, very slow. You wouldn't expect it to be too fast, but at least it's something. And now we don't have to um, worry so much about using all of those health potions. The only thing is, and now our um, mana regeneration is going to be much slower, but once we don't really need to use the um, lamp anymore, then we could probably put that back on the second slot and gain our regeneration back. Um, for now, we'll just rely on all of these mana potions, I guess. That's really all that we can do. And get out of here. Get out of here, little wolf. We don't need to see you anymore. We'll gather up that wool, though, because um, we do actually need that for the new types of armor, so we might as well keep them. But yeah, I think we'll um, give it a try. We'll see if maybe we can um, defeat Ninus. And this thing again, one of these things. Last time, I set off a trap that actually blew up the chest. How do you think we get rid of this? Like, I guess we're not supposed to step on these um, little buttons, right? Let's see if I go in between. Nope, <laughs> nope, that didn't work. Okay, so as soon as you step on that wood, it seems to um, blow up the chest. There must be a way for us to get into that chest, though. It can't be a complete trap, right? There must be some way that I'm missing. But let's follow our quest marker and let's go try to defeat Ninus. We have to get to that portal again that um, the shaman opened before he unfortunately was killed by that awful adventurer. And then um, we'll see if we have any better luck defeating her this time now that we have all of these different spells, now that we have um, a little bit more knowledge about what to expect in her battle too. We definitely need to try to take care of those crystals that she spawns, I think. It seems like those were kind of the sources of her power. So if we can maybe get rid of those as soon as she spawns them in, then we should be in um, a little bit of a better situation. But let's see, we're almost there, I think. There we go. And like, there's no use waiting out here. There's no use putting one of our own portals down because this is going to take us right to the queen herself. I wish I could say, but talking won't help. Such insolence. Death is your only saving grace. Die. All right, let's try it again. Let's see if we're any more prepared to take care of the uh, queen of ice. She is shooting all of her spells at us, and there's that um, vortex spell again, too, but our magic does a pretty decent amount of damage on her. Oh my goodness, but hers does as well. I almost forgot how hard those actually hit. Now, she hasn't summoned any of her little creatures just yet, none of her little minions, but we'll have to keep our eye out for those. And if I can dodge all of these tiny little shards that she's shooting, then we should be okay. I want to make sure that we have enough um, health potions on hand to soak up that damage. Oh, there we go. She's summoning her crystals now. It looks like she actually summoned the purple one first. Maybe that means that we have to hit the purple one before the others. Let's see. If we sneak up here and slash it with our sword, that gets rid of the purple one. And then, um, was it blue next? Was it blue? That's the next one in the line, but I want to be careful now she's summoning her creatures. So let's go ahead and summon our barrier because that should really help us. We're trying to scoot around here and hit the other crystal. And now the red one too. Well, we got rid of all of them and it looks like her barrier is down. Um, but we're going to have to be careful not to get completely obliterated by all of her friends, just like last time. Let's try to get rid of these two guys with the spikes. There we go, one hit and they're done. And now we can try to hit her with our ice ball magic again, because that does quite a bit of damage for us. Okay, that time she definitely did blue first. It was blue, purple, and red. So let's go over to the blue one and hit that. And then we'll hit the uh, purple one too. And then the red one way over here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she spawned in the minions that time. So maybe 
we're on to something. Maybe we're getting somewhere. Let's try to hit her with the ice ball now that she doesn't have her barrier up though. Now is definitely the time to do as much damage as we possibly can, especially because her little minions are gone so we don't have to worry about them nipping at her heels. We have like maybe a quarter of her health down, maybe just under a quarter. So we are slowly but surely getting there, but there's her barrier again. Um, let's drink another one of our health potions and then zip up there. I'm not sure which order she brought the barrier up this time because oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I didn't see the colors. Okay, apparently purple was not the right choice to make. So we're going to have to keep a very close eye, I guess, on which um, colors she uses first. There definitely seems to be some sort of pattern there. I mean, we did much better. We definitely did better. And I think if we have um, some more health potions on hand, and as long as we stay very close by her so we can see which colors she's changing her barrier to first, then maybe we'll have better luck. I think we can do it though, guys. I think we can definitely do it. We'll make sure that we have plenty of mana regeneration potions so that we can use our um, brand new ice barrier as many times as possible. And next time we will see if we can finally defeat the queen of ice. So thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.